What's up guys and girls? Dave here with Affordable Door and Gate. Up here in Ludington, Michigan today. I wanted to make this short little video. Basically just kind of buyer beware. Or if you just don't have much knowledge on Wayne Dalton doors, I got a ton. I used to sell Wayne Dalton doors. I still actually am a dealer of Wayne Dalton doors. Wayne Dalton, if you pick certain models, you can find good ones. And I feel like that's kind of across the board with uh, a lot of the door manufacturers. I try to explain it like a car manufacturer. You know, you can buy the, the Chevy Silverado, which is kind of lower, or you can buy a GMC, or you can buy the Cadillac, right? So they have different trim levels is the way I think of it. So it just depends on what you spend your money on. So anyways, this basically behind me here is a older, it's a 9100. Any of the 9000 series doors, I believe, are garbage. So I quit selling them, installing them, because I want stuff that lasts over 20 years plus. You know, I want you to see 30 or more. Um, this door was built in 2001. So, you know, it's basically, what was that, 17 years old? And it has a lot of failures going on. So anyways, let's, let's go over them. So as you can see, the door was hit, which turns into like a pop can. If you crumple the side of a pop can, you can't stand that anymore, right? Every kid knows that. Everybody's done it at camp. And this is what starts devastating them right here, too, is when they start ripping. They'll start having failures. This door obviously was not functioning correctly. So that's why I'm here replacing it. Now, this was all through Lowe's. This is not, we're just, I'm just an installer on it. I'm just providing labor. They're going with an AMR. I'm not a big fan with the AMR couple reasons I'm not just a fan of these designs up here in Michigan we don't have my to get this hinge if, if for some reason they forget to ship it or whatever uh, I gotta drive probably maybe 150 miles away to get that hinge I like stuff that you can find like at Ace Hardware that's very universal other thing about the AMR doors is that this one has a dent already in it on the face of it which I think is ridiculous because I don't know how it even got in there which was not from me it's from AMR I believe other thing is, this is very common with AMR. They have dents in them at the top. And I think it's because when they load them in the trucks with their bars to keep them from swaying side to side, they push on them way too hard or they're shifting around or whatever they do. And then you can see right here, there's actually damage to these ends, which is just going to be great for when I got to stack this door basically on a Friday. And I don't know how late it's going to take me and how much I got to mess with it to make it right. So, anyway. Back to this Wayne Dalton 9100 series door, 18 by 8, so it's a big door. When you go with big doors like this, you need the right stuff. Anyways, so as you can see with the hinge, it's pulling away. The stuff turns into Swiss cheese. This is all that's here. There's nothing back here. There's nothing extra meat. There's basically, you have to either find another spot to drill to fix this. These hinges are very common to go crooked, as you can see like on this one. And this turns into a break. And then it causes drag, and then everything has to work a lot harder. This is not the door I would recommend for this situation. Way up here in Ludington, in the boonies. As you can see, the door is bowing. You got a lot of stuff going on. It ended up putting more pressure with everything starting to fail. Uh, obviously, even their top strut could not save the top panel. It started ripping out. You can see that they put bolts in here to try to reinforce it. I mean, they were trying to milk this thing to keep it going, but... You can only do so much with it at this point. Oh, I just noticed that they uh, put their weather seal on backwards. That's awesome. So we did not install this door. I believe Ludington Door installed this, which is fine. This is a door that uh, if you were going to maybe flip a house, um, you're going to save a couple hundred bucks. But now to replace this door, this door is about 1500 bucks, 2000 bucks. So that few hundred bucks you saved back in the day, you're going to pay for it in the long end. So it's just something to keep in mind. I got to let you guys go. I got to get back to work. I got to get home at some point tonight. And it looks like uh, we might be starting to get a little bit of rain up here. So anyways, hope this is helpful. Hope you guys understand that if I find you selling Wayne Dalton 9100 doors or 9600s, I'm going to beat you. And if you tell them that they're good stuff, I'm going to call you a liar. So... Unless you're going to be there every every six months putting oil on them and stuff. All right, you guys. We'll talk to you later. Have a great day.